compound pivot, uh, a little bit more of an early release than most people advocate. And, and so I think that today's presentation you're going to really enjoy. One of the things that we're going to emphasize, the one thing that he taught me that really stuck out, he said that 87% of golf instruction is learned with these two things right here. So we're going to be real heavy on the visual as you study these techniques. So I know once you buy this videotape, you're not going to want to listen to the introduction the whole time. So let's just go right to the uh, grip and setup and we'll get started immediately. A good grip is absolutely essential in releasing the golf club and controlling the blades. I don't know more, two more important aspects of the golf game, but it all starts with a good grip. Now, I'm going to show you just a little bitty simple drill that you can learn how to put your hands on that golf club in 30 seconds perfectly and maintain a, a great angle as you go through your golf swing. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this club, I've actually chosen a driver today, and I want you to take your right hand and grip it about a foot above the grip line here actually about a foot above your hand. And we're going to take our left hand with all four fingers, wrap it over and take the thumb and make sure that the thumb is right on top of the shaft just like so. And, and keep your right hand on, on the club just, just like we have it here. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take our right hand and just simply slide it down where the lifeline goes over that left thumb just like so. And you've got yourself literally a perfect grip. I, I know I have a perfect grip simply because I can take my right hand off open it up and it's square and you can see it lines up with the face. I can do the same thing with the left hand just like so. Now the uh, uh, crucial part of when we place our hands on the club is simply you'll notice that uh, the club shaft is pointed in a tilted fashion like so and it's above our arms. Now what we do is I actually pre-cock the club in this position and so in the golf swing we don't have to worry about the hands moving up and down just like so. They're already pre-cocked in our golf swing and we really never lose this angle throughout the whole golf swing. So and, and it makes for the setup, it gives you a real easy position as far as setting up. See I'm standing straight leg in a vertical position but as I bend down see I leave this angle just like so and bend from the ball and socket joints of the hips down to the golf ball just like so and you can see I've got literally like a perfect grip and also it creates a perfect measurement for me as, in relationship to arms and the body of my golf swing. So real simple, just a little quick review. And see we pre-cock the golf club. See I'm drawing this up into the grip just like so. We've got the angle right here which we keep throughout the whole golf swing. We take the right hand, simply slide it down over that thumb and we've got a perfect grip. Now concerning the grip pressure, real simple little analogy I like to do is, is uh, explain this illustration, you can just take literally a screwdriver and place it in your hand and ever how much pressure it, it creates for you to unscrew or screw in a bolt into a little wood, wood thing, that's how much pressure you need in this hand right here. Obviously grip pressure, if you get it too tight then the hands won't release, if you get it too loose then it's hard to coordinate your body in relationship to that club head movement. So it, you want to you err in the side of basically a little bit lighter grip, especially when you're playing in intense situations, you, you kind of instinctively kind of grip a little bit tighter than you normally do. Grip Review Left thumb is placed directly on top of the shaft. Precock hands vertically and maintain arm and shaft angle throughout the swing. Correct grip pressure is equal to the grip used on a screwdriver while turning a screw into a piece of wood. The V made by the right thumb and pointer finger points toward the right shoulder. Okay, concerning the stance is four or five coaching points I want to go over with you. You can see as I walked into the frame, uh, my stance was about that wide. That's my normal stride. And, and I like to actually take that normal stride or that width and apply it to my golf swing. That's where my feet are placed on the ground when I do that because, you know, a thousand, two thousand times a day I'm going from one foot to the other and that's my measurement right there. Now, when I set up to the golf club, obviously the grip also blends into this stance and setup, 
but it's a real simple way and I think it's a great way to get fitted the way I want to illustrate it to you. So what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and take our grip just like we did, just like so, keep this angle right here and as I bend down, I'm not bending, flexing both knees, I'm bending from the ball and socket joints of the hips as I bend over until the club hits the ground. And you can see that my arms are almost straight down, got a nice, nice little angle just like so. And as I do that, see my hips actually move a little bit behind the ankle line and that counters my head going forward. So I'm in a real balanced position right here. Another little the thing that I try to do with my feet is I take my toes and I just kind of dig them into the ground like so. And it gives me a much more secure feeling as my feet are attached to the ground. Now obviously I can, I can attach them and I can detach them real easy with the lifting of the heels like so, which I do in transferring the weight in the golf swing. So when I set up, very simple little thing is I'm just right here, I bend over, and from this position here, I'm, my right side is just a little bit lower than the left, and the reason for that, my right hand fits underneath the left. So I don't just do it from the top down, we do it from all the way down to the ground, and you can see when I kick that right knee in, it gently lowers that right side probably an inch or two, and then my right hand will fit comfortably on that golf club. You can see if I took my right hand off, I'm measured perfectly to the ball, and if I took my left hand, just like so, I'm fitted to the golf ball. Now, another little checkpoint as you get into the, the actual setup, with every shot, I've got a driver for you for today's lesson, but as I set up to the golf ball, you see I can take this right hand and let it drop. And as long as it drops directly away from the golf club, that means that I'm fitted perfectly. Now look what would happen if I, if I just got an inch too far, see my right hand would drop into me, just like so. So it's very, very important that your starting measurement is perfect on all your shots, because if you don't, it's gonna, leave it, it's gonna lead to an amplification of a movement somewhere down the line. All good players always get back to ball position and set up in alignment. To, to take care of some little bad tendency they've got out of. So, so basically what we're doing, we set up just like so. We're gonna incline over to the ball, arms almost straight down, and, and we're gonna check it just like, just like this. We also want the arms just tight enough to get that right thigh right up underneath the shot just like so. Okay, so just a little quick little review as far as the coaching points. My stride is the width of my stance, or you could go shoulder width apart, that's a general rule. And then when I place my feet on the ground, I actually take my toes and just dig them in just a little bit to create a much more secure feeling with the ground and it'll help your weight transfer also. And obviously I can still take my heels and detach them and reattach them in my golf swing. Now as I bend over to the golf ball to take my stance is my buttocks or derriere, it goes slightly behind my ankle line and when it does that, see that counterbalances the weight of the chest as it moves forward. Now as I do that, I, I maintain this angle throughout the whole golf swing, just like so. Now we're ready to hit the ball. I've kicked my right knee in just, gent just briefly. My weight is not into my knees. It's, now it's up into my hips to support my weight because one knee's almost extended and the other knee's slightly flexed to lower the right shoulder down to the ball. And it looks something like that. Another little coaching point that you can kind of visualize in your setup is you can see I've created the, like a capital K right here. Now what I'm going to do in my golf swing, I'm actually going to take this capital K and turn it completely over upside down. And when I do that, you can see that from the club to here would be the long part of my golf swing. You saw the K and you saw it reversed upside down. So what I want you to visualize is from here to the club would be the long end of the K. And then what we're going to do is this would be the top end, my right arm. And remember, we're not doing a wishbone here. We got to do the other. So we kick that right knee in and you can kind of see it looks like a K. Real simple little visualization that do that. So again, we just take that K, we turn it upside down and we take it. And this is the top part of the K and this would be the bottom part, like so. Setup review. The distance between the feet should be the width of a normal stride. Bend down from the ball and socket joint. Crimp your toes to create a secure feeling with the ground. Slightly flex the right knee to allow the right arm to fit more correctly. The tailbone moves behind the feet to counter the weight of the chest moving forward. A reverse capital K is the image of the overall setup. 
The shoulders must be square to the target line. Set your weight into your hips, not your knees. Your weight should be on the balls of your feet. 